The member from Toronto, Danforth. Thank you, Speaker. My question to the Acting Premier. The Minister of Energy told reporters last week that their decision to include the Liberals' $40 billion borrowing scheme on people's hydro bills was, quote, a wide open process undertaken by Hydro One for clarity, end of quote. Does the Premier want to correct the Minister? Thank you. Thank you, uh, Mr. Speaker. As we've said all along, um, electricity bills are a customer's way main uh, window into the electricity system, and so we've always wanted to help consumers and give them the information they need, but we're hearing that it's uh, information overload on the bills, Mr. Speaker, and that people find the bills unclear. One example, Mr. Speaker, is the debt retirement uh, uh, charge line. The debt retirement charge has been eliminated, and we thought it was made uh, the most sense to keep it included, Mr. Speaker, with a zero so people understood that it had been eliminated. In the end, it led to more confusion for ratepayers, Mr. Speaker. So Hydro One has realized this and has been a leader in consumer research on ways to improve the appearance and comprehension of its bills, Mr. Speaker. They enlisted a research firm and engaged with thousands of customers to develop a new bill with the goal of increasing customer satisfaction and comprehension, and test results, Mr. Speaker, have been very positive. Um, through the long-term energy Answer. plan, the consultation process, the government heard that uh, customers wanted clearer, clearer and easier to understand electricity bills, and that's what they're going to be getting, Mr. Thank Speaker, you. through this whole process. Supplementary. Amazing. Um, speaker, again to the Acting Premier. Who at the Cabinet table decided to force Hydro One to include Liberal campaign messages in people's hydro bills? Minister. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. The 25% reduction that everyone has seen uh, right across the province and the actual 40 to 50% reduction that they're seeing on their bills in northern and rural communities is the law, Mr. Speaker. This was brought forward um, through the Fair Hydro Plan that this government voted in favour of and the opposition voted against, Mr. Speaker. They actually voted against increasing the Ontario Electricity Support Program that helps low-income individuals and seniors, Mr. Speaker. They actually voted against helping First Nations while eliminating the delivery credit, Mr. Speaker. So when you're talking about the decisions being made at the cabinet table and being made in caucus, it's actually helping those most vulnerable in our province with their electricity bills, Mr. Speaker. That is something that this government has done and that party neglected, Mr. Speaker. Even in their pie-in-the-sky plan, they never talked about helping First Nations the way we have, and they didn't even include low-income individuals until the last page, Mr. Speaker. We've made sure we've helped those individuals right across the province. Final supplementary. Thank you, Speaker. Again, to the Acting Premier, I never heard before that Liberal messaging on bills was going to help uh, customers, but that's an amazing admission. Uh, the truth is, we know the Liberal government did direct energy companies, including Hydro One, to include Liberal campaign messaging on people's hydro bills. Government regulations now include, quote, a requirement that local distribution companies provide a customer-specific dynamic calculation of savings associated with the Fair Hydro Plan for each billing period invoiced. Does the Premier think it's right to use government regulation to force Hydro One and other local distribution companies to campaign for her party on people's hydro bills. Wow. Thank you. Minister. So thank you again for the question, Mr. Speaker, because it allows me to clear up some of the confusion that he was talking about in that question. That makes no sense, Mr. Speaker. What we did with Hydro One is we removed all the regulation, Mr. Speaker. They actually made the decisions to come up with their own bill after consulting, Mr. Speaker, with a research group, doing focus groups, and trying to find ways to make the bill as clear as possible for ratepayers. Yeah. Hydro One did that on their own, Mr. Speaker. They made sure that uh, all of their ratepayers had a say in this process through their focus groups, and now they've brought forward what they're hoping is that main window to help ratepayers understand their bills and also understand the electricity system a lot better, Mr. Speaker. They're clarifying some of the language. They're making sure that on the bills that people have that yes, window, sir. they want to make it as clear as possible. And that's why we have the bill um, presentation group with EDAs, Mr. Speaker, Thank working you. on this right across the province. Yes,